everybody. It's Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. Hey, thanks for stopping by today. I'm going to talk a little bit about the Gorilla Painters 8x10 Cigar Box, uh, Pochade Box. It's a plain air box. You can take it in the field. It's lightweight, two pounds. You can stick it in a backpack, a bag, a big purse, whatever you have handy, um, or you can just carry it under your arm if you want. Um, the reason I picked this box up was... A, portability, and two, because I got a chance to meet with uh, Carl Judson, the guy who originally uh, founded uh, the Gorilla Painter uh, company and the boxes and built his own boxes from scratch. And originally he built a box um, that was about the size of this 8x10, and I think he used applewood from an old uh, dead applewood tree in his um, on his land. Anyway, Carl, uh, Mr. Judson and I got talking about it and I I told him, hey, it'd be great to have a, even a lighter box because I have the 9x12, but sometimes when you just want to put something in the car and leave it there for when you're out and you catch a moment and you want to pull over and paint, boom, there it is. So anyway, uh, let's talk a little bit more about that, but before I leave this topic of Carl Judson, if you haven't had a chance, go on online to the Gorilla Painters box. There should be a link to Carl's um, art there. He's also an awesome artist, which would prompt him to make a lightweight box that serves the art community, right? He did it first for himself, and then he thought, hey, other people could use this as well, and they sure can. Um, so let's first talk about, uh, let's talk a little bit about the box itself. Okay, the first thing you notice is it's basswood construction. It's a lightweight wood, a uh, light and a lightweight wood, um, light in color and light in weight. Um, it's it's small, it's compact. We'll compare it in a second to my uh, nine by twelve box, but it, it it's it's small. It's not as small as the tiny tiny cigar box um, that they make, but it, it's small, compact, lightweight. I think it's about three and a half or four inches thick. Um, then you notice that it's got the this aluminum aircraft aluminum uh, hinging here, and it and it and it uh, uses this aluminum throughout the box. So if you look on the back, you got this piano hinge with six large solid fasteners. They're a little bit staggered, which is is odd, but I'm sure it's done for a reason. Um, like for instance, these screws are out here. They're not centered on the on the piano hinge, but. Um, I'm sure that has something to do with the interior of the box and where they wanted the fasteners to end up. Uh, also, you'll find more of that aircraft aluminum here, and I'll talk about I'll talk a little bit about this um, camera tripod adapter I added. Also, you'll find these rubber stops here are pretty uh, standard on um, the pochade boxes that you find, but they have made an upgrade, and and it made a big difference. And I'll talk about those that upgrade in a minute with respect to these uh, uh, these stops, they call them. Um, there's, there won't be any stops on the bottom like there is in the 9x12 box. I just don't think they had room. If you look in this corner, there's no real room for, for a stop there. It would have been nice to shorten the hinge maybe a little bit. I mean, I know they, they like to build the boxes solid, but this hinge might have been overkill. Um, it might even be the same, close to the same... Uh, uh, width as the um, as the 9 by 12 box in terms of width size. It's not the same length, but it might be the width. Anyway, to cut down, maybe cut it off here on either end and then add some stops, that would have been kind of nice. But you know what? Um, I find that I don't really set it down that way much anyway, so it's not that big a loss. Um, so let's pop open these. These are genuine rawhide straps here. And these boxes are designed by Pochade, but made in China. Uh, but yet and still, you, the quality is there. You can tell that they care about the construction and stuff. So I'm unscrewing the, the knob here, the hinge knob, and I'm lifting the hinge a little. I'm going to go ahead and lift open the box. I'm trying to do this one-handed, so, um, so if you can do it one-handed, that's pretty good, right? So I'm going to hold that, tighten up the hinge a little bit, and you can see you can fit your, um, I think you can fit up to three, they might say two or three, um, panels in there, eight by ten panels. So that's that's good. Um, then here's your pallet. It's on a slide, just like with all the other crochet boxes. There's these grooves cut in here, and the pallet slides back and forth. We'll take it all the way out and look at the construction. Laminated. 
on both sides so when you get paint on here um, and I'll show you my old box in a minute and give you a little uh, tale of caution on how to you know how to maintain these but uh, um, so this slides right in and out but it doesn't quite go to the edge and I'm sure there's a reason for that although I don't know what it is um, there's a standard screw right here fits in that hole right there so when you close the lid it locks in so this uh, pallet won't fall out so um, plenty of room in the box um, I've got a longer 10 inch paintbrush in there right now so you can throw that in if it's at a diagonal you shouldn't have any problem uh, if you want to carry a hundred brushes then maybe you should put them in something separate but if you have five six eight ten brushes or so you can put them in here um, and all but the longest brushes will fit at a diagonal um, then you have some room for your paints you can't get a ton of paints in here but enough to uh, go paint in the field and if you need more you throw them in in the bag next to the to the box all right we'll, we'll close it back up and I'll show you a little bit on the mounting uh, side of things so I'm gonna just I loosened the the knob here and I'm going to tighten it back down. The other straps, they snap right in place. And I'll flip the box up. And right here is the um, tripod adapter. So all you need is a penny to put this in and out. Put the penny into the into the screw slot. And you can unscrew this thing and take it out. Now I bought this separate. They're about six or eight bucks at a local camera supply store or Walmart or wherever, but you just go right on here and you'll save yourself a bundle of money from having to buy the special uh, Poe Shade um, or Gorilla Painters tripod, which is kind of expensive, but there's a reason it's expensive, and I will say that I do now own one. Um, the reason they're expensive is because they're really durable and they're lightweight. They're made of aluminum construction. They're specially made for this purpose. But if you want to save a few dollars, you can pick up any kind of camera tripod. Most I recommend aluminum. Um, even at thrift stores or uh, places like that, you can find them. Then you just pick up this little adapter, and this fits into any uh, sort of um, uh, tripod, uh, camera tripod. Okay, so. Let's compare this box a little bit to, to, my, to the box that I have, my 9x12 poche box, which was the first box I bought uh, from Gorilla Painter. Okay, here it is right here, and when I met with Carl Judson out at Wet Paint, um, he was uh, just a really sweet and gracious man, and he went ahead and signed my box for me, which I will always treasure and appreciate. Um, I just thought it was cool. Um, so a couple of mods I've made on my box and differences in the other box and we'll talk about those the feet differences in a second but one thing I have is I, I like to carry around my brush washer just keep it attached and so I have a carabiner clip right here just a small one and I just can clip my um, my uh, brush washer right in there so that works out great for me that's one small modification um, the other thing I did, and we'll give me a second to open up the box, um, is I modified the pallet, and I'll talk a little bit about pallet care in a moment. So now unscrew this, loosen that up a little bit, open up the open up the uh, box, and I'll tighten this. Up. So one of the things I did right away was I needed a brush holder and I didn't want to carry a separate one so I drilled holes in here and these hold my brushes so I can set, uh, take a brush out, I can set a brush in there when I'm out in the field and um, I just drilled them some different sizes so, so I can fit skinny brushes in there. Okay, so on to the uh, palette maintenance. So if you don't keep your palette clean, what happens is you end up with extra paint here where you need kind of a clean surface. And I tried to scrape it off and I dug into the wood a little bit. So luckily it's held up okay, but that's not a mistake I'd make again. So just clean clean up the palette and mine's kind of messy and other people kind of laugh at it, but it works for me. Um, so here's the modification I made. One, I, I broke a foot, um, one of those little rubber stops off this. I had to replace it. And since they're riveted in, 
in this older saw box, these are rivets. So once they break, they're done. And mine snapped off. No fault of the box. I was treating it rough and I broke it off. So I had to make sure that I pulled the rivet out and then uh, I didn't have to drill a new hole. Luckily my hole is intact. Then I had to put a screw through the stop and this and a washer in the stop and then add a nut onto this. Um, and then I bingo I was in business. On the on this other on the newer pochade boxes by the they've addressed that issue and I'll show you that here. Um, should have left this open. But if you look inside here, they've addressed it by making sure that those are nuts now and not rivets. So that if you do bust off, uh, and you probably won't, but because I don't think the, these are going to be as flimsy as the rivets were, but if you do bust it off for whatever reason, or the stops get worn out, you can order new ones and replace them, and it's just a nut versus a rivet. So, so those are really uh, the two boxes in comparison. And again, this is the the pochade 8x10 box is well built um, so good construction I'm gonna give it a try and then I'll post a video on down the line which kinda outlines uh, outlines my experience with it how durable it is this other box that I have it's been awesome it's held up gone a lot of places and uh, it's doing well so alright well that's it for today hope you get some time to paint or draw and uh, don't forget to subscribe or just drop a little uh, thumbs up love on us and I uh, appreciate it. Check out owingsart.com. Thanks for watching.